Welcome back to the channel. This video is all about plate tectonics and looking at the geologic features of each plate boundary and how they're formed and which feature is linked or connected or formed through a different kind of plate boundary. Let's check it out. This is the Earth Science Classroom. Here we have our three plate boundaries, our divergent, convergent and transform boundaries. Now a boundary is where two or more plates meet. Now the boundaries differ in the direction of movement and the movement is caused by the plate which is being moved by the convection currents that's in the asthenosphere, a little bit lower in the upper mantle. So the divergent plate boundary is where the plates are going away from each other and they're moving away and this is called a constructive plate boundary because the lava comes up and forms new crust, new rock, either basalt with the oceanic plate or a granitic rock with the continental plate. The features with a divergent plate boundary are the ridge, which is the undersea mountains either side of the valley, the ridge, which is where the lava comes out and the new rock is formed. So these large, high seafloor elevation features were found by Hess and Sonar and are the location for the volcanoes and volcanism and also you get earthquakes in this location as well. Now the Rift Valley is where you have a continental divergent plate boundary. The best case scenario is the East African Rift Valley system or for divergent it's going to be the mid-ocean ridge. Now convergent plate boundaries are where the plates are moving towards each other and converging to collide and there are many features that are linked with this type of plate boundary. Now there are three variations of a convergent plate boundary based on the two different plate types that are converging in this situation. So we have two plates, oceanic plate and continental plate. Oceanic is thin, thinner and basaltic and the continental plates are thicker and made mostly of granite and andesite. And when they converge, there's three different variations. There is oceanic converging against oceanic, continental to continental, and a mixture of oceanic and continental. So, with any kind of oceanic plate that is converging, you're going to have a difference in density of that plate and form subduction, where the heavier plate, denser plate, will subduct and go under the lighter plate as it converges. That will cause melting, of course earthquakes, it causes accretional wedges of material pushed onto the lighter plate, and it will cause magma to build up and flow to the surface of the lighter plate, creating volcanoes. Now that could be a volcano in the ocean, which is causing volcanic island arcs, or it could be a continental volcano chain parallel to the subduction zone. So the examples would be for ocean to ocean would be the Caribbean or the South Pacific Islands or near New Zealand, and the ocean to continental would be the Aleutian Island chains around the Ring of Fire and the Pacific or around the Nazca plate hitting the South American plate and the Andes Mountains. Or you could also have the Juan de Fuca plate subducting under the North American plate which is creating the volcanoes in the northwest of America like Mount Hood, Mount Rainier and Mount St. Helens. You also get an ocean trench because anything with subduction you get the ocean trench where the subducting plate is going beneath the other plate and causing a very deep part of the ocean to be formed which is an ocean trench. Again, the classic examples are around the edge of the Pacific Ocean with the ring of fire. Then we get the continent hitting continent convergent plate boundary example where you have similar densities of plate both granitic and you have no subduction and you have very little if any magma production so no volcanoes but you do have what's called orogeny which is to build mountains and in this case fold mountains and the best case is the Himalayan mountains where India converged into Eurasia about 40 million years ago or you can have the Alps where Italy is converging into Europe causing the Alps. Then we get a transform plate boundary. This is kind of a more of a straightforward boundary where the plates are sliding past each other in different directions, different speeds and angles, and mostly you get earthquakes in this situation. You get earthquakes in every boundary, but transform plate boundaries just have earthquakes, and they're called conservative because they neither construct new plates or they don't destroy new plates, like in convergent. So they slide past each other and they cause earthquakes. 
Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please subscribe and hit the like button. If you like more on this content, please check out my channel, which has all these videos on Earth Science.